So, today, we have the King of Wakanda, Black Panther, taking on Black Manta. Who wins? Let's find out. So, Black Manta. As an autistic boy, David Hyde was kidnapped and was forced to hard labor on a ship for a long period of time. He once saw Aquaman and signaled him for help, but wasn't seen. Finally, he killed one of his tormentors and out of self-defense and made his escape. Once freed, he vowed vengeance for Aquaman and wanted to be the ocean's master. He's an advanced hand-to-hand -hand combatant being trained since he was young. He has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe or even beaten Aquaman while underwater. Uh, he wears this armor that grants him oxygen and can withstand the cold and extreme pressures of the deep. Uh, it increases his mobility and speed underwater. It's completely water and completely water and bulletproof. Uh, his helmet is mantis shaped with two eyes that allow for infrared and thermal vision. He can also project a powerful optic blast out of these eyes, capable of hurting or even killing metahumans. His armor grants him superhuman strength and durability. Um. His gauntlets can project an electric shock powerful enough to stun an Atlantean. He can survive for an unlimited amount of time underwater. He carries a harpoon, two daggers, and multiple bladed weapons, and he's an expert swimmer. And in the other corner, we have Black Panther. T'Challa, king of Wakanda, was allowed to eat the heart-shaped herb, which enhanced his physicality. He received a blessing from the Panther God that enhanced his physicality even more so. And he can call upon the past Black Panthers for their strength and knowledge as well. He's arguably arguably the best fighter in the MCU, being trained to be a warrior since birth and being a master of all armed and unarmed combat. He's also in the top 10 smartest people in the MCU, with his mind being on par with Reed Richards and Tony Stark. He wears a vibranium suit, which is virtually indestructible, and it absorbs the impacts of the phys physical attacks. He also has these uh, anti-metal claws on all five fingers of his hands, which break down metal on a molecular level, and he can easily cut through flesh as well. He also carries these two energy daggers that can cut through anything, virtually anything. Um, he's strong enough to lift about five tons, send Namor flying with a kick, a wrestle down a rhino into submission and stop an elephant's charge. He even put down the Fantastic Four single handedly. He's fast enough to dodge bullets, but he doesn't need to due to his suit, and he's a member of the Illuminati. So, Black Panther is physically superior and the better fighter, but Black Manta has been able to go toe to toe or beat an Aquaman, who's far physically superior than the both of them while underwater, so he should not be underestimated. And this fight won't come down to the physicality or skill. It'll come down to their gear and who can pierce the other's armor first. But unforced trauma isn't going to help either of them. Uh, Black Manta's optic blast has been able to hurt Atlanteans and kill metahumans. So how will it fare against T'Challa's vibranium suit? Well, not really well as Black Panther took a blast from Namor who had one fifth of the Phoenix Force on his side and his suit was barely damaged. And as far as the piercing weapons from Black Manta, they're all made out of steel. It would be difficult to pierce through a Black Panther's suit unless it's cut along the gradient, which is very difficult to do. On the other hand, Black pa Panther's anti-metal claws will be able to, to cut his suit down on, on the molecular level, exposing Black Manta's flesh, which will allow Black Panther to kill him and get the win. Not, to, not only that, but, but Black Manta's helmet isn't as durable as the rest of his suit, as Deathstroke was able to bust through it, and Deathstroke is about the same level or even lower than Black Panther. At the end of the day, Black Panther wins. Like, subscribe, all the great stuff. See you on the next time. Peace.